Namaskar. Hello and welcome to Feel Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer. It is not often that Sri Rajagopalanji calls me to say, I have some hot news to share. How soon can we go live? And here you are. And we are going to be inviting our guest of the evening, Sri Rajagopalan, who has some amazing breaking information. Do stay till the end. But first, please click on the like button for this video. Thank you very much. And Rajagopalanji, Namaskaram and welcome to P Guru's channel. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar. Ninge, you have to ask me the questions, Mr. Iyer, because P Guru viewers are wanting me to take a oath of affirmation or oath of office that whatever I say is true and in the allegiance of, you know, uh, true because we are to be disconnected as a wire we see in problem. We should not be disconnected. These are all certain problems which I foresee. Therefore, we must be uh, creating some sort of suspense for our viewers, sir. Let us not First go off, live immediately. Yes, yes. First off, there is a lot of things happening. There have been a lot of things happening in DMK. And the most important thing is, whatever be the differences inside the party, the headquarters is in Chennai, whereas it is rumored that a certain minister is in London. And, and this, it's not, this is not the first time this minister has gone to London. And what exactly is this person up to, Raju Gopalanji? Uh, Namaskar to P. Guru viewers. I have a sensational scoop. It's a bombshell, you can say. A Tamil Nadu minister has gone to London for four days. And he reached Delhi from London and met some senior officials and then went back to Chennai. This is the news I heard in Delhi, sir. It's a hot topic among the politicians, especially DMK politicians. And uh, uh, the permission for his going to London was to be cleared by the PMO. This is, this is the protocol because there is a passport visa consular section is there in the Ministry of External Affairs. Whomsoever is going abroad, the minister, those who are having a white diplomatic passport, you and me are having dark blue passports. Yes. Those who have white passports should have the clearance of external affairs from the political point of view. So this gentleman minister, what he did, see, he circumvented that and taken it as a private visit. Therefore, chief minister approval is important. So the chief minister gave approval. Now chief minister himself is in a big soup after this, uh, you know, visit is made public. Second important thing, as you yourself mentioned, this minister may be uh, shifted out of his portfolio. The reason being, a loud mouth, motor mouth, and you know, uh, one has to, quiet ministers are there. There are many Tamil Nadu ministers doing wonderful job. In fact, I must appreciate Mr. M.K. Stalin's top five members of his cabinet are very well deserving persons. And they do very well. Like, you know, Tangam Tennarasu. I know his father, S.S. Tennarasu. He was editing a paper, newspaper called Tennarasu. So, uh, Mr. Tangam Tennarasu may be the next uh, replacement of the minister who visited London. And uh, today being, a, you know, happy birthday of Udaini this talent, there are flooded flood of uh, advertisements in the daily newspapers. All Tamil, English newspapers are flooded with advertisements. I saw Morasadi brought a supplement for 80 pages. So these are all certain things happening within the DMK. You said DMK is in turmoil. Yes, in turmoil. I do agree with your you know, title of uh, the debate. But you know, the turmoil, I would like to say, DMK is in, in, you know, in its house. Mr. Stalin's leadership is very appreciated. But the allies, and the you know fringe elements or pressurizing Mr. Stalin to take a particular path that leads him to the turmoil situation. So let us uh, you know wait and watch. By end of uh, this month or already we are nearing the month end and uh, middle of uh, next month there is a reshuffle. Will there be a deputy chief minister in Stalin's government and will that be Udaini the Stalin? Who will be the you know ministers to be asked? Because yesterday and day before yesterday, Mr. M. K. Stalin took a review of 18 months' performance of his senior ministers. That is what I heard from Chennai, and uh, the performance report is well for five six ministers. They have done extremely well, but out of the others, seven or eight to be dropped also. 
because corruption charges. As you know, Mr. K. Anamalai, the Tamil Nadu BJP president, has you know charged some ministers or under cloud of corruption charges. So Mr. M. K. Stalin might relieve them, send them to the party, uh, you know, work. And interestingly, on December 1st, the district secretary's meeting is taking place. So with this, you know, capping up all the you know inputs, I get the feeling that Mr. M. K. Stalin is giving a best leadership, but the uh, subordinates, number three, number four, number five, number six, they are all up in arms. Corruption galore is there in Tamil Nadu. Let us see how Mr. Stalin handles. Another three and a half years, he has to take on the you know system. Plus, uh, his uh, Mr. M. K. Stalin's approach towards Congress is also dicey. Let us debate in the further you know video chat shows. Sir. And you have led me to my next question, uh, Rajagopalanji. You said that coalition partners are not happy. We see some outrageous statements coming from some of the lumpens that go as the partners of DMK. I'm not going to dignify them by the name or their comments. Nothing gutter, uh, nothing less than gutter-like. But you said something else. You said about the Congress, which is one of the bigger coalition partners of DMK, not being happy and that eight of them are in Delhi right now for confabulations, formulations, consultations, whatever you want to call it. What is happening on that front, sir? The day before yesterday, that is on Friday evening, today we are, you know, on Sunday, Friday the eight MLAs reached uh, Delhi, sir. And out of that eight, my impression is that, you know, uh, uh, the Selva Perundagai, the minister, the, the, the uh, Tamil Nadu Congress leader, he is in a tight spot. He does not want to give his, you know, claim on uh, uh, the leadership of Tamil Nadu Congress. So things are not that good with Tamil Nadu Congress. And, uh, you know, what, what I would uh, uh, understand, and convey to your viewers is that uh, uh, the six MLAs who met uh, Malikarjun Karge, three MLAs met uh, Mr. K. C. Venugopal, and you know, uh, Velacheri MLA, Asan Maulana, G. Asokan Sivakasi, Dore Chandrasekhar of Purneri, Palani Nadar of Tenkasi. These are all some names I picked up from my sources saying that they are all anti Perindagai. The pro Perindagai pin men or you know Manoharan, Ruby Manoharan, who was you know uh, suspended, then revoked by the Congress High Command. Things are not good that with the Congress. This will help DMK because DMK wants to have a say in uh, uh, the overall alliance uh, things nearing 2024 elections. As you know, the Padayatra is a flop show. Rahul Gandhi was projected by M.K. Stalin and DMK in 2019 as prime ministerial ambition. But will they do it in 2024? These are all certain things to, to wait and watch. But the internal uh, struggle in Congress, as you said, DMK is in turmoil. My understanding is DMK allies are in turmoil. Tamil Nadu Congress is in turmoil. The K.S. Alagiri was to be replaced and... Uh, uh, that is not happening because the central leadership, Mr. Mallikarjan Kargi, again, there, there is another wheels within wheels, Mr. Iyer. Mr. Mallikarjan Kargi, though he is uh, the president, elected president of Congress party, but he is being remote controlled by three Gandhis. Whatever is happening, Madam Sonia Gandhi is in Simla. She says that, you know, you discuss with Rahul Gandhi, you discuss with Priyanka Gandhi. This Perundagai is very close to Rahul Gandhi, but at the same time, there are the anti elements in Congress, those who bite the ears of Rahul Gandhi different. So, Malika Karge said, Hell with you. You are all you know, in, in a different format altogether. Therefore, let us not get into that. Things are you know, uh, not that good with the Congress, sir. So, a couple of things that you touched upon that I want to expand a little bit. One is that um you know as soon as congress appoints a new president the incumbency anti incumbency starts i mean uh, i mean the uh, the uh, opposition to that starts and they say no this person is not this infighting has been the bane of congress for the last 40 years take any state take uh, any 
district level also they are always fighting but right now congress is not in power in tamil nadu and typically sir when there is a national party and a regional party alliance in the state assembly elections a national party will give a lot of seats but they'll still be a small partner and the reverse happens for national elections how do you see congress like there are 39 seats in tamil nadu let us set aside the one seat of pondicherry for now in the 39 seats how many thing do you think congress is angling for and how many do you think they will get uh, the alliance is in such a fragile way now because kamala hasan has said that he is wanting to join dmk front in 2024 lok sabha elections second as you said the number if you crunch that numbers out of 39 i foresee dmk will contest 30 seats in the uh, lok sabha seats sir in 2024 he uh, mr mk stalin wants to be the single largest party number 2 in india overtaking madam mamta banerjee mamta banerjee is 33 today and you know uh, 32 31 or dmk side so he wants to overcome that outdo mamta banerjee so mr mk stalin will give congress three or four seats sir that's uh, too low and uh, i don't i don't so know too what low. what is that strength there they are fighting and even uh, you are good friend and my good friend is also you know in rajya sabha he also would like to come to rajya sabha so things are that good well um there is also rumors that mr aragiri himself might be replaced any truth to that yes yes aragiri is being replaced with jyoti mani or uh, manikam thakur things we have to wait and watch sir okay so that is the scoop for you now let's take a look at the quiet mamta sir <laughs> mamta has been like uh, gone into you know how the uh, the snake charmer has a basket and and every time he takes the lid out the snake comes out and then does this and then slowly goes in and then you know the guy puts the lid and that's it what is happening sir why has she gone so quiet now she is more interested in abhishek banerjee than trinamool congress cadre she wants to protect protect uh, abhishek manasing uh, abhishek sorry abhishek uh, banerjee, banerjee and his wife so we have to wait and watch but the internal reports yesterday suvendu adhigari the opposition leader had a five minutes meeting with mamta banerjee she called him for a chat they have taken some sort of uh, quite interesting meeting though mr suvendu adhigari and bjp uh, boycotted the new governor swearing in ceremony things are happening in uh, west bengal my understanding is mamta banerjee will not go with congress sir in 2024 elections um but uh, i am not sure that mamta now has 33 seats in lok sabha sir i think it may be less than that because uh, bjp got 18 seats in west bengal in 2019 so yes, she yes, may yes. have she 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 has uh, you know larger chunk of numbers but my reading of the situation mr iyer is mamta banerji has surrendered to central leadership that is bjp that is prime minister narendra modi so in the uh, the the compromise formula might have been uh, dankar is uh, promoted as vice president of india chairman rajya sabha and you have l ganesan a tamilian was governor for 3 4 weeks but now anand the boss a kerala ias officer has been appointed he is 1985 batch ias officer he was in central government also i have known him i had the best acquaintance with him he is a very gentleman thorough gentleman he will not be that critical like uh, jagdeep tankar with mamta banerjee sir so um if bjp has mamta under control um what does it mean for the 2024 elections do you think the bjp will be able to repeat the 18 seats again or more or less what are your thoughts sir no we we, we have to wait and watch sir till the elections of gujarat himachal pradesh delhi are not out that is till 8th of december we have to toy with this ideas once that crystallizes bjp plans are different sir bjp plans are 2023 g20 and uh, you know uh, 
the other uh, Shanghai cooperation organization meeting plus international meetings are going to be held. Prime Minister wants to give a, 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 a Vishwaguru impact and what he sold of Gujarat in 2024 uh, and 2019 Gujarat model. Now he's you know able to market very effectively Indian model of G20. He is going to showcase the uh, 35 cities in India. They have selected very effectively. Tamil Nadu will be three important places, Madurai, Tanjavur and Kanyakumari. Similarly, Hyderabad, similarly, West Bengal. So he is spreading it out. So that, you know, 2024 is easy for him. There will be development. There will be a buzz about one or two months. The 2023 full year is going to be G20 meetings one way or other. There are 35 subgroups. And 35 subgroups are going to meet in 35 different places, will be chaired by 35 different countries. So there is going to be a very interesting thing. That is why today Man Ki Baat, voice of his, Mr. Narendra Modi also focused on G20. Do you know Telangana gentleman gave the design? Prime Minister made it very clear today. So oh, things are happening as far as G20 is concerned. 2023 is going to be effective. Coming back to your question. Mamta Banerjee may get closer to uh, BJP so that the impact of Nitish Kumar distancing from BJP will be you know, uh, settled. That is the calculation I read as, as of today, sir. But Thank things are much, one, sir. Year, one year or more for that, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. And uh, viewers, you can send in your questions using the hashtag AskRR. And we have two more topics to discuss, so stay tuned. And the first one that we are going to talk about, uh, this is Rajasthan. Who is the Navjot Singh Sidhu of Rajasthan? Oh, my God. You you got a, got me into a big trouble, sir, now. Uh, you, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, you and me will be flooded with uh, threatening calls, Mr. Ayer. <laughs> sir, we are taking Ayer. a best shot, sir. We don't know if yeah. it is true or not. But we no, think that, that this is how, that, this is the that, Sidhu will of be, Rajasthan. There will be clone of Navjot Singh Sidhu, but the, the Rajasthan Navjot Singh Sidhu may not go to jail. Hmm. So, my understanding of Rajasthan, as you put it, the uh, Kasi Yatra is entering, uh, Bharda Jodo Yatra is entering uh, Rajasthan, and that crisis starts. Uh, there is a proverb, you know, let the sleeping dog sleep, don't, uh, you know, provoke him. But now they provoked Mr. Ashok Gaylet and uh, Sachin Pilot. They were quietly doing that. But the central three lead, three Gandhis have got into a problem and they created this situation, sir. Now Ashok Gaylet is going to convene the Rajasthan Assembly very shortly and create an atmosphere of uh, his uh, one man, uh, one upmanship. He is going to show his strength, sir. Sachin no. Pilot has got 10 to 15 MLAs. There is a correlation between Tamil Nadu and Rajasthan. Whenever Tamil Nadu Congress fighting is there, Rajasthan Congress fighting is also taking place. Whenever the Rajasthan is in turmoil, Congress is also in turmoil in Tamil Nadu. There is a correlation other than Congress. We can describe very effectively for best understanding of most of our viewers. Ashok Gaylet is like Adapati Parinisamy, who has got organization strength. Sachin Pilot is like O Panisalvam, sir. All right. So, we still don't know who the Sindhu is then. No, Sindhu may be uh, yeah, suddenly. Why, why do you bother about Sindhu? You must ask who is Charanjit Singh Chani. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, sir. I have no answer for that. Most important thing that we are going to discuss now is the server hack at the All India Institute. Oh, very of horrible, Sciences very horrible, sir. Delhi. Very horrible, um, yes, sir. See that, uh, sorry, <laughs> Raj Gopalanji, uh, the fear that I have is that this may be the work of a foreign country because hacking is something that some countries live by and die by. What is happening on the ground, sir, and what kind of inconveniences are happening to the people who are in and around Ames. If you drive by Ames, viewers, you will see many poor people. They don't have a place to go and sleep. So they'll be actually lying down in Charpai in this cold right outside the Ames. Uh, you've seen that, uh, Rajagopalanji? Yes, yes, yes. Every day, every day I see that, sir. Yeah. I cross that location, uh, landmark. And you asked me a pertinent question. It's a very sensitive topic. 
let me give a, a graphic view, a perspective about the aims and the location for our P Guru viewers, those who watch you in, you know, Australia or Singapore or in, uh, you know, USA. The All India Institute of Medical Science has more than 2,500 doctors, very senior doctors. One of the very famous institutes of medical science in India. It's like a, a you know a university type, very popular. Every day, fifteen thousand patients are being treated. The director general of uh, that AIMS is equal to secretary to government of India. Plus, it is in a centralized location. AIMS which caters to the poorest of the poor, like Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Rajasthan, uh, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, parts of, uh, you know, interior Uttar Pradesh. That is why Atal Bihari Vajpayee decentralized it and Manmohan uh, Singh took it forward, but Narendra Modi has taken it to the um, 24 institutes of medical science are going to be built and eight are operational. So decentralization of aims had taken place. Still, there is a heavy pressure on medical science. If you go to the uh, second floor, there is a server room, sir. There are eight uh, super uh, servers are there. My understanding is Delhi police has registered an FAR. Unknown person has hacked it. So they are working it on the computer hacking system. There are many mechanisms, National Informatics Center, RAW, IB, and the military intelligence, they are all working on it. Very soon, we will come to know what is what. But the uh, thread leads to, needle of suspicion leads to Pakistan and Turkey, sir. They, the person sitting there, they have it, sir. It's a very demoralizing effect on the patients. For the last four days, medical institute is not functional. It is in a very uh, dormant situation. Doctors are very affected by that. Everything has become manual now. Unless the patient bring the uh, history uh, discharge sheet or discharge summary or uh, his medical summary, doctor may not recognize what is what. Therefore, any patient has to have a medical history. So that is missing now. Earlier, they used to put in the computer and see it. But my main worry, sir, if you remember, there were uh, like, uh, you know, they disconnected the wire, Siddharth Vardarajan type, they ran a story about Aadhaar card was hacked. That was a false. Pegasus, that was a false. Everything fallen flat. But this AIMS Institute, suppose if it is done with a financial company or a bank, then we had it. Therefore, the government of India has taken a cognizance of it. The National Security Advisory Board has taken serious view of uh, Medical Institute hacking. Let us wait. Things will be settled in another two, three days. Daily monitoring is taking place. Today, director has issued a statement around 5 o'clock. We record this at 8.30. 5 o'clock, there is a statement from the director of medical institute saying that, you know, things are now, uh, you know, regrouped. In two days, it will be set right. But still, the threat perception about uh, any institution. That is why the government of India has been actively saying cyber terrorism is going to be the order of 21st century. That is the reason United Nations Security Council's um, cyber terrorism cell met at uh, Mumbai last week and India has taken lead on that. So, very uh, uh, you know, dangerous period ahead uh, so far as the uh, cyber terrorism is concerned, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Rajagopalanji. And now let's take some questions. Sure, sure. Definitely, sir. Yeah, the first question is coming up. Ashwini Kumar wants to know, Rajaji, you have become Rajaji now. Can you predict oh how, many, how many Lok Sabha seats BJP will win in Tamil Nadu and Kerala? Uh, BJP will win... Eight seats maximum, minimum five seats in Tamil Nadu, sir, with the uh, EPS alliance. Kerala, nil. Kerala is a hard nut to crack. Rajesh yes, Singh wants to know, how do you think the comment of Yogi calling Kejriwal the Dilli ka Namuna will play out? Yeah, that, that the youngsters, especially Yogi is very interesting. 80-20, he coined a word. Now, Delhi ka namuna, because he is a joker. That is what he wants to drive home a point. 
Kejriwal is a joker. That is what Yogi Adityanath openly said in the morning and that has created a controversy. Kejriwal is not uh, uh, true to his words. Sir. He said anarchist first and he went with Mr. Uh, Anna Azare. Previously, he, may, he was very clear, but today he has been exposed. Satyendra Jain, the minister for you know, health, health and Jain, uh, jail, he is in jail and he is holding meetings. Still, uh, every day the video is coming. BJP is releasing daily video. There is a pressure on uh, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal to remove Satyendra Jain. Satyendra Jain is the Lakshmi of uh, uh, Amadmi no. Party. Sir. And that is why Yogi Adityanath calling Delhi ka namuna. Rajesh Shingi, Delhi ka namuna. Is bar BJP ne te usko pani pila diya. But uh, Gujarat mein they will lose. Himachal Pradesh, they may make inroads. In Delhi, they will form the government, the municipal corporation, they will capture. Sir. That is the scenario what I am emerging. But uh, Rajna, Rajesh Singh, you have a December 9th ka heading. Ye ho sakta hai. BJP sweeps Gujarat. BJP retains with uh, you know, uh, uh, problems in Himachal Pradesh, but loses Delhi. So Delhi is uh, up for grabs for uh, Kejriwal. So we will wait and see. Hypocrisy wants to know who will win Himachal. We just answered you this question. Who will win in Himachal Pradesh? I think BJP will create history like UP and Uttarakhand. Yes, yes, yes. The Himachal Pradesh, it may be a tough fight. But the pension scheme uh, which uh, Congress played with, with the fire, like, uh, you know, Punjab, they played with fire of agri agrarian uh, lease. Now the pension has clicked in the Himachal Pradesh, but whatever be said and done, Himachal Pradesh government will be by BJP, sir. Next one, Rajinder Sharma wants to know, will Amit Shah make a better Prime Minister than Modi? Rajinder Sharma ji, you don't know You do not know politics. Then there is no uh, need to answer this. Amit Shah be better than PM Modi? How can you say that? It's not at all, you know, possible. Narendra Modi decimated Congress. Thanks to Amit Shah's uh, uh, assistance and help. Therefore, Amit Shah and Narendra Modi are inseparable. No one can be better than the other. Raman Mishra wants to know, how many Lok Sabha seats 2024 do you expect BJP to win if Park occupied Kashmir comes to India? Oh my God, this Raman Mishra is very, you know, tricklish question. POK coming to India is like a Atteki Mise Molechal Sittapwa. If you, if your aunt gets a moustache, she becomes Chacha. So that is not possible. POK, maybe 2030, 2031 like that, but not in an immediate run. Oh, to answer your first part of question, 2024 BJP will do a hat trick, sir. Definitely they will be comfortable in the majority. Uh, nearing 300, sir. Uh, Neta Mafia wants to know, is there any foreign government or forces behind Shashi Tharoor? Sudden growth in his ambition, first as Congress President and now for Kerala CM post, looks doubtful with his Gulf and Western connections. No, no, we will not answer personal questions. Sir. Policy matters, yes, but uh, since uh, he has asked, I would like to say very simply, Shashi Tharoor is a, a tall leader. Of course, he is into international, you know, uh, diplomacy and uh, what not. Uh, he is a threat to Congress. Congress will suspend him like uh, Mr. Amarendra Singh. So his ulterior uh, destination is uh, either BJP or float his political party. That is why he is concentrating on uh, Kerala. Kerala already has more parties than population, sir. One more will make it even worse. Yes, yes, sir. All inter 100% literacy is a problem in Kerala, sir. And you can't be uh, Bihar either. Kandan Sudarshan wants to know, it seems local leaders are not much cooperative with Annamalai. Is central leadership rock solid support with Annamalai ji? For Kandan Sudarshan, yes, certainly. Central leadership is with Annamalai. You would have seen in... Uh, Kashi Tamil Sangamam, he sat next to Prime Minister. Apart from that, 
as long as bl santosh and nadda saab amit shah narendra modi are there anna malai is there because anna malai is the you know uh, pet of uh, amit shah bl santosh anna malai has created a scene in tamil nadu sir in the sense better for scene in the sense not in the derogatory term he has created an atmosphere in tamil nadu taking dmk head on next question please ashok wants to know gelot releases newspaper advertisement devoid of names of gandhi does that indicate that gelot is conf- confident of course gelot is confident sir he was giving as in the last uh, you know chat show we have said uh, hang out every month panch pyare so mm. so as long as panch pyare is there ashok gelot is confident What is Panch Pyare, sir? Five crores. <laughs> That sounds low. Then he is on record. Off the record, different. <laughs> Venkat Raghavan, Venkat Raman wants to know. MKS trusts Thangam Tenarasu. Then, well, we know who to handle money. Is we know who the man whom he would be replacing? Then why do you ask me, Venkat Raghavan? If you know it, uh, you write <laughs> that also. Thangam Tenners brought, uh, you know, with his stable team, he was negotiated with the, you know, center by the emergence of uh, second international airport in Tamil Nadu. The credit goes to Mr. Narendra Modi, who has cleared it because uh, his concept of uh, each state having an international airport. But they have taken it forward. We have to give hundred uh, marks to DMK leadership. Certainly, they saw that. it may be adani ambani uh, swiss air international that's all different matter altogether but adani is going to take over the second international airport in chennai the bits are the land uh, uh, allocations land uh, you know uh, acquisitions they are all in progress tangam tennarsu has given a definitely a leadership to put it in perspective venkatraghavan venkatraman tangam tennarsu is trained by brahmins you know he chants nalayara divya prabandham he chants a lot of uh, vedic hymns so therefore he is into hindutva therefore he is dealt with uh, jodi aditya sindhya and uh, hardeep singh puri who guide him properly for having second international airport in chennai thanks to mr m k stalin's leadership next question from k ram krishna Uh, any updates on telangana politics a tussle between ksr and bjp it raid on mla and just now police denied permission to hold sangram yatra by bjp telangana president sir uh, ksr uh, is another mamta banerji sir he will succumb hmm. to center pressure ksr will also go like mamta banerji in another 6 months time sir Mm. KCR is a very tall leader, but he should not to uh, uh, given that much. You know, KCR does politics because to appease certain sections of the community. Therefore, there is an anger in the uh, majority community. KCR will settle down, sir. Wait and see. Like Chandra Babu Naidu knocking the doors of uh, Prime Minister's residence and Mamita residence. KCR will do it very soon. Sir, you hinted that Mamata Banerjee will be there only for six months. That was a big reveal, sir. What was it that you were hinting? Uh, well, let us wait, sir. That is the input I get, sir. That is the that is the input I get, sir. These all political uh, uh, juggleries. What we heard today, they may not be true tomorrow. But what <laughs> is going to happen tomorrow may not be happening today. So in politics, everything is flux. So Mamta Next Banerjee question. coming to towards NDA is also a bright chances. Uh, what about all the BJP workers who got hacked, who got raped, who got plundered by the TMC goons? All that Saath Khun Maaf, sir? No, 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 not like that, sir. Not like that, sir. Not like that. Not Saath Khun Maaf, nahi. Atara MLAs, uh, sorry, MP, they got. they have to project mamta banerjee may also be doing a willy gilly game you know to neutralize bjp's importance but bjp knows it very well sir what she is up to well first off the borders have to be sealed that itself is still leaky and it's not as sealed as western borders anyway there are lots of challenges next question please 
Indranil Banerjee wants to know how can Tamils become haters of Sanatana Dharma? Does Tamil come first or DMK ideology? Both cannot be the same. Have the people of Tamil Nadu discarded Sanatana Dharma? Please explain. Who said that the people have discarded Sanatana Dharma? Wrong impression, Indranil Banerjee. Wrong, wrong. DMK comes second, Tamils comes first. And moreover, Tamil is also uh, cloned by the DMK. Therefore, uh, BJP is Kasi Sangama Yatra. There's a Sangama in, uh, in Varanasi. is very, very crucial, sir. The DMK's uh, marketing capacity on Tamil has been cloned by BJP. So, uh, Mr. Indanil Banerjee, you have to learn and read a lot of Tamil literatures more than that understand Modi's approach towards the allies because Modi's approach to each state is different. He has approached 35 different styles in 35 states in the country, including unit territory. So, Modi's approach to Telangana may not be easy for Tamil Nadu. What Modi adopts a culture in Bihar may not be applicable to West Bengal. Hmm. Well, Indranil, I just want to add to what Rajagopalanji said. 90% of Tamil Nadu will not step out of their house for anything without wearing either a kumkum or chandan or vibhuti or namam. The, the religion is there and it is shown. You will not see this thing in many states in the north. So in Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka and Kerala, it is very you, they, you wear your religion. There is no shame in that. In fact, that's also been a a controversy. Some missionary schools have been trying to stop children from wearing vibhuti to come to school and this has created a lot of friction also. The Tamil Nadu is the land of Vedas. Don't get swayed by a 70 year, uh, year uh, uh, you know Dravida rule. It's all sir, Dravida Maya. Banerjee, I want to tell one more thing to Mr. Internet Banerjee sir. The Hindutva, the Dhanadana Dharma, the Vedic uh, hymns and uh, Vedic mantras have reached uh, DMK headquarters. Half of the family of uh, DMK is with Sanadana Dharma. MK Stalin's wife does uh, Sukalam Bhardhanam, Vishnum, Sachivarnam, Chadur Bhaja, Prasanna Vadanam. Like that, you know, she does chants the Sugram, Viram, Mahavishnam, Jalanda. These are all certain things which uh, Durga Stalin is, uh, you know, uh, uh, Anathama to Dravida Karakam. Sir. Therefore, 70 years of uh, uh, Dravida is fading away now. Hindutva has taken deep roots. For example, when uh, I was still young in Chennai, uh, now I live in Delhi and you know, uh, things are still happening. For any disease, for uh, driving the evil uh, things, they do with the Nimbu, uh, sorry, sorry, Neem Patta, the Vapalai. So, so long as that Sanadana Dharma exists, none can take uh, pride in Dravada movement or atheist movement, sir. Every uh, student in Tamil Nadu, school going student, they worship uh, uh, Lord Vigneshwara before going to the exams. It's not that easy, it's not prevalent in North India. As Ayer explained very well, everyone wears the head mark, you know, the uh, Namam or uh, this uh, Vibhuti or Chandan, anyone, you know. Next question, please. Sri Saravana wants to know, I learned that there will be S20 science and tech meeting of G20 in Coimbatore in 2023 July. Uh, are there any updates on the involvement of any TN research institutes? Any discussion on semiconductors? Yes, yes, Saravana, you are going to be in for a shock. Coimbatore is going to emerge as a, you know, G20 pearl. It's going to be very important. And let us wait and watch how it's going to take shape. G20 will bring a lot of smiles in Tamil Nadu, especially semiconductors and you know research institutes. G20 throughout July, August, September of 2023 is going to be year of uh, you know months of Tamil Nadu. I learned from uh, Ministry of External Affairs that they are going to have a major uh, initiative in Tamil Nadu. Sir, Prime Minister is concentrating on that. Next question, please. Anand Ramachandran wants to know, why is the DMK government still controlling Hindu temples, even though the Supreme Court has told them to stay off temples? Do they have the testicular gravitas to do this with mosques and churches? 
very anand ramachandran very no point you touched my understanding of that is despite supreme court or you know anything even a, a religious person be the uh, hindu religious endowment uh, minister in tamil nadu you cannot touch hindu temples in tamil nadu sir my understanding is in another 5 to 10 years things are going to be very effective temples will be delinked from tamil nadu government sir wait and watch that the initiative has taken place temples are going to rule the roost in tamil nadu let wait wait for hat trick of vishnu modi in 2024 there is going to be a central law what i understand let us also break it to the, our viewers sir the present day thinking of central government is first once they come to power in hat trick in 2024 first is ucc they created a seats among the eight nine states uniform civil code second temple take over by uh, the tamil nadu and uh, were stalled now temples will be dealing from the government control you wait and watch a central law is going to be uh, you know promulgated after modi returns to power in 2024 third very interesting revisiting of the indian constitution enough is enough sir now you are in g20 era you are in you know lot of uh, interesting things es vengarachalaya was uh, appointed by atal bihari vajpayee once mr narendra modi came in 2014 he decimated congress 2014 he tried uh, demonetization 2019 he tried uh, 370 2024 he will try ucc and uh, Uh, rewriting of indian constitution ask rr aims and especially psus have multiple threat vectors open basic firewall and ddos are in place but no protection against dns x infiltration how do we remedy this pradeep srivatsa uh, this is a technical question pradeep uh, maybe i can take a shot at it um security is not just one thing it is a whole series of things india does uh, manage some of the things i'll give you an example how do you think india managed to shut down 130 plus chinese apps from operating in india not single one of them works now so they have figured out a way it is possible it is just that india has so many things that need attention sometimes these things like cyber uh, security take a back seat but i'm sure the modi government is seized of the problem and they are working towards making it even more robust the more important thing that india needs to do is once let's say in aims problem they are sure that it is pakistan and turkey you have to go back and give it back to them in their own coin if they give you 1 dollar you give them 10 dollars that's when they'll stop until then they'll keep trying sir your two cents sir i i i i you know you elaborated it very well mr ayer i could uh, not uh, do better than you because the firewall d or dd was this are all you know foreign to me I, you know it's not a language which i was taught by the political masters but i have been uh, you know on one issue sir very emphatic pradeep srivatsan take it from me narendra modi will not leave like that he is much more basic firewall than the computer firewall and second thing mr narendra modi ek bar bola tha ghar mein ghus ke maarunga utna gussa aaye the he got so angry that i will get, enter your house and uh, smash you that type of anger mr narendra modi has so therefore wait and watch there are remedies sir next question please george fernandez what if you are wrong sir and congress wins 40 seats in himachal pradesh what if you are wrong uh, congress let us wait sir george fernandez you may be right and i may be wrong i please prove me wrong after december 8th sir last question okay. n chandrasekhar she i hear there is a red crescent in arabia but uh, red swastik in the you know india instead of cross i do not understand what is that sir you you may know it sir no no i think what they are saying is why don't we push swastika you know right in the front you know you go to any temple you take anything that is 1000 years old or older you will see swastika everywhere it is su asti that means good life and it has to do with tracking the seventh uh, seven stars in the sky and if you map them on 
four times in the year, you get what is called as the swastika shape. I've explained this in a long uh, in a long uh, video. Please take a look at it. It's okay. This has been misappropriated, and it is also yeah, swastika and Hooken Kraus, which is what Hitler used. There are two different things. Don't get confused. There is a lot of education that is happening in the West, and this will go away very soon. Next question, and, please. And, and, and Chandrasekhar, I want to answer Chandrasekhar in a different way. Very recently, Mr. Narendra Modi launched the Indianized ship, warship in Kochi. Do you know? Uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Swastika was the replaced Indian naval uh, flag. They removed cross. Do you know that? So therefore, my understanding is, please visit this uh, Indian uh, naval warship uh, website and understand how swastik in India is popularized by Narendra Modi. In the Indian ship flag, Indian naval flag is having swastik. They removed the uh, cross. Next question, please. Ask Sri, uh, this is for me. Are you standing while doing videos? If you stand, how can you stand whole hour? Uh, hypocrisy, it's not whole hour. I stand all day. Uh, I stand 14 to 16 hours and work. Um, <laughs> it, it's just a habit. Um, it helps lose about 100 calories in a day if you work oh, standing. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, <laughs> hypocrisy. <laughs> good, 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 good. And then we take a last question and... Uh, we yeah. are saying good night to them, sir. This is it. Yeah. So, <laughs> Surinder Paul Agarwal says, interesting question answer session. It's like putting questions to an astrologer. <laughs> you are the astrologer, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let them say, Agarwal sahab, aap to samajhi mein aagya hoga, lekin any politician is an astrologer, sir, I would say. Because if politics is under the hope only, sir. Mm -hmm. And Rajagopal Sukumar, thank you so much for your generous contribution. And uh, Rajagopal Anji, I think we can wind up now. We are sorry if you couldn't answer your questions, the four or five, but Rajagopal Anji needs to be somewhere else. Thank yes, you so sir, much, yes, sir. sir. And thank we'll you, be back again you. with breaking news. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Good Namaskar. night.